Hi, and welcome to the first trial of my secondary dump load for the Mark II PV router. Uh, it's 11 o'clock in the morning up here on Merseyside. We've had uh, 3 kilowatt hours of um, PV, uh, which is more than enough to uh, top up our water supply in the tank using the immersion. Um, the sketch I'm running out in the base station on the garage, albeit still on the breadboard, is um, Mark II iRev5, which has the capability of supporting multiple loads, um, one of which can be by uh, radio. Uh, so what you're looking at here, this is the, um, the slave station, which is based on an Emon TX that doesn't have any input sensors, but is simply uh, receiving the radio transmission coming from the garage and uh, switching on a secondary load. Uh, the LEDs, uh, the red one says that we've, we've lost transmission, thankfully that's not on. The yellow one says that we've got good transmission, which means that um, there's no period of more than three seconds when we um, don't have um, command. Uh, commands are refreshed every second or so. Uh, the green light said that says that the load is on, so as you can see the secondary load is on for more of the time than it's off, which means we've probably got 2.2 kilowatts of um, surplus power coming in, which is good. Uh, the reason that the box is open is because um, I built a little power supply uh, which just runs straight off the mains connection, um, and although it's powerful enough to uh, drive the um, Emon TX, unfortunately it doesn't pull on all the LEDs I'm asking it to do, so I'll have to uh, have another look at that. Uh, something silly probably wrong with my little, trans little, little uh, power supply. Um, but so I'm just running on the um, from the laptop at the moment. Um, so it's as I say working nicely. This is a 3.4 kilowatt um, storage heater which I picked up off eBay yesterday. I've simply wired it in front of an existing radiator off the existing radiator's wall clamps, so it is held pretty firmly, which is necessary because these things uh, do weigh an awful lot. You bolt them to the wall. Um, and then you fit the bricks afterwards. So just to show it's working, if I were to switch um, this load off, then we'd expect um, the green light to stay on permanently. Because the um, there's nothing else in the house drawing the power, so the energy bucket is now full. The uh, immersion heater is on full, that's the primary load. Um, the stat is open. Um, this load is taking no power, so we're on maximum. If I switch this back on, the uh, flicking would restart. This is um, a different kind of algorithm. It's the one that I introduced for um, my Mark II iRev5. So it only has the one single uh, threshold level, um, plus it has a timing element, so it doesn't need any calibration. So this system may or may not be calibrated. I don't know. I don't really care. It works fine. Um, the only thing is that you can't have a load that's greater than three kilowatts. And in order to um, uh, maintain that uh, requirement, I've actually only fitted three of the four um, internal elements inside this heater. So this is a 3.4 3 kilowatt heater that's actually only got three 850 um, what units in it, so it's a little bit less than three, hence I think it's okay to run off the um, ring main, which I am doing now. So it's a slightly unconventional um, storage heater setup, but um, it's doing um, a perfectly good job now of absorbing surplus heat um, at the time when we surplus energy at the time when we have it, and hopefully in the evening it'll warm up the house. It's uh, sited pretty centrally to our house, and uh, I've got the Input on maximum, and the output, um, this is a booster, so I've got that on minimum, so the flap's fully closed, um, so hopefully by the end of the day we'll have uh, a bit of warmth. This is the end that I've left the heater, the element out of, and there's not much going on here. We've only had energy being diverted to it for 10 or 15 minutes, but I'm pretty confident that towards the end of the day it should um, warm up quite a lot. So. Um, Watch this space. Thanks.